one, we're um, given a graph of a polar equation in one of these forms. Um, and we're going to select the correct equation and also find the values of A and B. So here's our graph. This is a cardioid. Um, sometimes it's hard to tell this one from a limousine, but um, after we solve for this, uh, it'll be clear. Now, what we have to decide is if it's cosine or sine. It's going to be cosine because it reflects over the polar axis or your x-axis. Since it reflects over this axis, that means it's going to be cosine. Now, um, with this graph, we're given two points, and we're going to use these two points given here and write this out as um, using this first equation 6, let's do 6 pi first, 6 comma pi. Now that's going to be 6 equals a plus b times cosine of pi. Now cosine of pi is negative 1, so we get 6 equals a minus b because it's negative 1. All right. Now, the second point we have is this one. So we do the same thing. We're going to write 3 equals a plus b cosine of pi divided by 2. Cosine of pi divided by 2 is going to be um, 0. So this 0 is out, and you get a equals 3. Substituting it back into our uh, first equation, we get 6 equals 3 minus b. Or you can say that b uh, is going to equal uh, negative 3. All right. Now that we have that, we can write our equation. So let's write it, uh, our a is going to be um, equal to 3, and our b equals negative 3. So our r equals 3 minus 3 cosine of theta. For cardioids, uh, these two numbers should be the same. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.